Making it to the Olympics is something many athletes dream about. However, very few have what it takes to actually accomplish that dream. I worked so hard to obtain the goal of being an Olympian and representing my country. And walking through the stadium during opening ceremonies and hearing the stadium erupt kind of was like a moment where you finally go, oh my God, this is real. Um, so that, that was pretty impressive, I think, and something I'll never forget. The 2008 Beijing Games were Mero Moses' first Olympic Games, and walking through the arena during opening ceremonies was just the beginning of his journey. Some of the most intense games of his career were ahead of him. Playing my first Olympic game was nerve-wracking. Uh, you train, you know, seven, eight hours a day for four years. You get one day off a week. Um, but still, you know you've prepared, but when you don't know, like, the feeling until you're actually there. And uh, I got nervous. I got butterflies in my stomach. But, uh, you know, after probably uh, the first 30 seconds, I knew I prepared well and was uh, going to compete to the best of my ability. Uh, meddling was a whole different ball game. Uh, it's kind of a, a bittersweet feeling when you win the silver medal because you just lost the gold medal game. And it's great you get a medal put around your neck, but you, you know, 10 minutes ago you just lost the biggest game of your life. Um, I don't think I really uh, realized how special what we did was until the 2012 Olympics where we ended up getting eighth place. I didn't medal. Um, and I realized what we did was extremely hard. We went into the 2008 Olympic Games ranked ninth and uh, ended up shocking the world and getting uh, second place. So uh, it's a special moment. Uh, it's, you know, it's hard because you're sitting there, the gold medal team is celebrating and the bronze medal team is celebrating because they just already had that devastation two days ago and they actually got a medal because fourth place gets nothing to take home. So uh, it's, it's a special feeling for sure. While Merrill's Olympic experiences were just beginning in 2008, there were others on Team USA who've had years of experience. Marv Dunphy, head coach at Pepperdine University, has also been on coaching staff for six Olympic Games, including being head coach for Team USA's men volleyball in 1988. His years of experience have left him with incredible Olympic stories to tell. It's not winning the gold and jumping up and down in that, uh, I think on the outside, uh, I remember uh, the first Olympic Games we won in 88, uh, the camera guy for uh, NBC said, Coach, get do this, Coach, do that. And, uh, you know, I was just holding on to my assistants. And, and so the, the memories for me are always um, who we did it with and how we did it. And not to really jump it up and down, because we worked four years for that. And, uh, uh, and then I think this... I don't know how to describe it, this warm, lasting feeling that at this point in time we're the best at what we do. Then you just kind of like, and uh, one of my favorite uh, coaches is John Wooden, and he, uh, one of my favorite quotes is, you have to earn the right to be proud and confident. And we earn that right, and it's almost like goosebumps, you know, thinking back and when you, when you earn that. And uh, so that to me, uh, it's who you did it with, how you did it, and also that feeling, and, and not so much, hey, we beat the Russians. For younger athletes just beginning their journey, seasoned professionals and coaches with decades of experience, the Olympics offer opportunities to represent your country at the highest level and make history. But it doesn't stop there. It's easy to see that the hardworking and dedicated individuals like Merrill Moses and Marv Dunphy who go to the Olympics leave with stories and memories that the world will be wanting to hear for years to come.